Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time we escorted Aerith to here. It's her mother's house! Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yep, definitely. I'm her bodyguard. <laughs> it's interesting that that's what she jumps to first. Like, that's actually pretty informative of their relationship, I think. What? You have a bodyguard? What? <gasps> you must have been followed again! Think about it! <laughs> that suggests not only... That suggests not only that she is frequently followed, but that she often recruits bodyguards to help her out with it. And if that is the case, then... Uh, how do I want to put this? And if that's the case, then... Hmm... This is... Oh, right. Keep in... And if that's the case, Keep in mind, she, the payment she offered me was to take me out on a date. How many bodyguards has she seduced into helping her? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you reacted a little bit strongly there, Cloud, especially considering how stoic you normally are. Hmm. <laughs> wow, sexist much cloud? I mean, seriously. What an asshole. You know, I take back what I said before. Clearly, Sam McCloud does not know how to treat a lady if he's gonna start spe spouting sexist nonsense like that. Frankly, I am disappointed. Hmm. That is a good idea. Oh? Indeed. Wow, that's that's kind of sneaky. Soldier, the last thing Aerith needs is to get her... Hmm... Suspicious... Right, let's go to... Can I... There we go. Let's go to bed. Uh... Okay then. Mighty night, but only after I pick up that item. Actually, wait, I don't remember which room I sleep in, so... That's interesting. You ever get the feeling you're talking to yourself? I get the feeling Cloud is talking to himself here. Because what he's saying vocally, and what he's thinking, like... They're not really complete thoughts on their own, like, they they do not really show cohesion between one another. He's clearly talking to his thoughts, which is somewhat worrying. <laughs> you should have an older girlfriend, one of the take care of you. Hmm. Well, according to the manual that shipped with Final Fantasy VII, Aerith is one year older than Cloud. Just, you know, throwing that out there. Must have. Okay, so. Obviously Cloud is intent on sneaking out, but I want a potion. And a phoenix down. Also, it's very important that I do not run here. Otherwise, I will... 
Well, I'll just show you. The floor is squeaky. And she'll catch you every time like that if you run. Every single time. Actually, if I'm remembering right, and I might not be remembering right here, I'd... But if I'm remembering right, then I'm pretty sure every time you get caught by Aerith here, you can lower the ch her, uh, her, her date value, basically, and make it less likely to date her later in the game, in the dating minigame. That, having said that, as I said, I don't really care about that. One way or another, I'll end up with whoever I end up. Although, realistically, it'll probably be either her or Tifa, because it almost always is. Um... Having said that, if you do care about it, I highly advise you go into Game Facts, where there's a very good guide for that. Um... Also, something that comes to mind... Uh, I've been giving this some thought since the... Wait. No, I thought there was something here. Then I guess that must be later. How much mo- okay, I have that much money. I don't really need to buy any material though. Right then. So, I've been getting some thought, and here's how I think I'm gonna go on the spoiler thing. Basically, I'm not gonna say I'm going to avoid any hard plot spoilers. Uh, stay- I'm- uh, Let me try that again. I'm going to avoid talking about any hard plot spoilers before they happen in the game. And I'll ask you to do the same in the comments. Having said that, gameplay things like, for example, the date minigame, I mean, taking out of contents, context, that doesn't really tell you much. So I'm not going to worry about those sort of details. Or spoiling those sort of details. And I'm, I'm not going to be, like, too much of a stickler, I guess you could say, to try to keep a lid on the spoilers. I mean, I think everyone's at least familiar with the big ones at this point. And mechanical-wise, I'll probably explain mechanics as I go along, if only, if only because I'm sure there's some mechanics that even people who have played the game before are not necessarily very familiar with. So, it'll be those more obscure ones in particular that I'll probably try to focus on if I'm explaining any mechanics. So, yeah, she's coming with us whether we want her to or not. There's no getting away from her. Which is just as well. I mean, I need to level her up a bit. Frankly. Is there a thing here? No. Clearly not. Hmm. I hope this is... It is! It's a giant house that's trying to kill me! Aw oh, man. I was hoping I would fight this because I wanted to talk about it. When I was young and first played this game, so we're talking like six-ish. Wait, maybe seven? Anyway, really young. I was super afraid to fight these guys. I'm not really sure why. I think it's probably because they exploded, and honestly, once they do this, they look pretty creepy. Plus also, other than bosses, this is actually one of the largest enemies you fight. They also deal a fair amount of damage. Actually, there's a lot of reasons I can see, I can see myself having been afraid to fight these as a child. It's still sort of a funny thing to remember, but... But even so, I think there's some justification there. Like, looking at this right now, it doesn't seem all- it suddenly doesn't seem all that unreasonable. Especially since I was terrible at this game. I mean, that sort of goes without saying. Of course I was terrible at this game, but I guess I said it anyway. Is There might be something... nope. 
There's absolutely nothing here. Case in point being terrible. I don't even, at uh, this game, I don't even know how many times the first time I played this game, I went back and forth through this area because I couldn't figure out how to progress. Like, an embarrassingly large number of times. More healing wind is good. So, this one is quite simple. It recovers exactly half of the HP of every member of the party. That's all there is to it. Oh, okay. Braver! The ad's dead. Haha! I am far stronger than you, fallow monsters! What are these called anyway? Whole Eater. Well, okay then. Hmm. Incidentally, the thing I just pressed to pop that up was the select button. Which I'm... which if I have map, or at least if I have it mapped properly, it's the select button. I believe it's the assist on, um... on PC. But I'm pretty sure it's the select button. Oh no, whatever will I do? Is that what you want me to say? Uh... Okay. Yeah, this does seem quite old. You just climb up the outside, don't even try to go in. I don't know, her air th seems pretty scrawny. I think she could probably fit through there. I mean, it's size for a child, but it should be large enough that, a, that an adult w should be able to reach in, so... I'm sure you tell that to all the ladies' class. Wait. No, that came out wrong. Cloud! Your name is Cloud! Oh? Ooh. Suddenly. Hmm. Won't well, say the name, eh? But suddenly, what Aerith's mom said makes more sense. I gotta be honest, that does not look anything like Tifa. So, I'm kinda surprised Cla so, I'm kind of surprised that Cloud recognized her as Tifa, because she looks literally nothing like Tifa. At least not in the carriage. Anyway. What you gonna do, I guess? Head to Wall Street is the answer. Hey, we made it to Wall Street. Fancy that. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So we've got to find Tifa fast! Okay, let's see. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Is there? No. If I remember correctly... Oh wait, first... Okie dokie. Right, as I was saying, if I remember correct- wait, what's here? <laughs> okay, now then, if I remember correctly, the Weepon shop is here. That would explain why it says machine and gun. 
Ooh, yes. Also, cool. No new what we bought for Cloud, though. As I thought. Ooh. Aw, oh, man, I wish I hadn't bought so, bought so many of these. These things are clearly superior. Anyway, I guess I'll take one of these. And I'll definitely take that. And... Three of these. And now I'm out of money again. I don't think I... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. How much money do I need? <laughs> I might actually need to go to go grind for more money. I guess I could just sell something though. That would probably suffice. Do that and that. Yeah, you know what? I bet I can make the extra money I need just by selling a few junk, a little bit of junk. Uh, this one. That's 80. That's... This is still worthless. Hmm. I mean, I just gave her a strictly better Weeblon. Wait, I think I did. I'm like... It was strictly better. Yeah, that's strictly better Weeblon. So, I can sell this. I don't know... That might be enough money, but I'd rather have be at about a thousand. I'd rather have literally twice as much money, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just grind a few battles off screen, but I don't really want to do that as a thing. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Ever something. Maybe it was Avalanche? Wait. No, that's clearly an E. Yeah, I don't know. Anywho. Don Corneo's Mansion. He's the big shot here in Wall Street. Okay then. Where the hell did Tifa go? Maybe the... hmm... Must have... if it wasn't up there, then it was probably here. That's Johnny! <laughs> Don't bring me down to your level, Johnny. Cloud is a dick. Is this who I think it is? I guess not. Uh... Oh? Oh. Oh. Well, I guess we know where Tifa is now. It was the first place we looked. Not right now. It was literally the first place we looked. Yes? <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh. She looks like she's scheming. <laughs> I know what's so funny. Why don't you dress up as a... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's that time! Yeah. 
So we're gonna do that next time. Until then, this has been... <laughs> ah, that's gonna be great. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Balloon. And have a great day. Bye!